Hey guys, so a couple of you have been asking me what I use in terms of a setup um, when I'm capturing videos, when I'm recording, editing and uploading them on YouTube. So what I do is a quick, I thought I'd do a quick vlog uh, of the setup that I use in the gaming room that I'm currently in. Uh, I've got an Xbox One um, X and a PS1 for, to capture all the gameplay that I do. I do the PS1 for the Nostalgia Lane series, which is playing old kind of games from my childhood. It's almost like this. the PS1 was where I started because it was the first console I actually owned when I was a kid. It's like, this is where I start and this is where I am now. I have, I just bought a, a, a basic PC that could handle what I needed to do, which is editing video on Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, doing thumbnails on Photoshop, um, and uh, for capturing game footage on OBS. This is the monitor that I use, it's just, a bog standard Asus gaming monitor that I got on eBay quite cheap. It's brand new, but I got it cheap. It does the job really well. Sometimes you lose kind of the clarity when you move to the sides. However, um, that doesn't bother me because I, as a gamer, I just sit in front of the monitor, so it doesn't make no difference to me. This is the ring light that I use. Again, it's just a bog standard one off eBay, but it does the job well. It's got a little kind of control um, just there. Um, which turns it on and off and you can you can have different colour gradings as well. This is the microphone arm that I use, which I can bring forward like this when I'm doing playthroughs and then when I don't need it I can just pop it back there and I can just edit at my computer without it getting in the way. Uh, I, used, I bought this pop shield on Saturday night I found it on Amazon about 11 o'clock and it came the next day, which I found I was really surprised by. Uh, it's about five pounds, but I used to use one of these, which was annoying because it just, it just kept, because it's so big, it just kept kind of protruding onto the face cam footage, which annoyed me a little bit. So I bit the bullet and just got one of these. Really cheap, fits really well onto the mic. The microphone itself is a Audio-Technica AT2020, the XLR version, uh, and that in turn is a cardioid condenser mic, and it goes into the Focus Bright Scarlet Solo, which I've had for a long time. It's a really good interface, um, has good preamp built into it, and you can adjust your your input mic level. And it, uh, if you if we hit the the mic, you can see it going green. It tells you when if the input level is okay. If it goes red, then it's peaking, and you want to turn it down a bit. Capture card I use is the Elgato HD 60s Plus. Uh, it's a funny story. I actually tried for ages to get one of these when I first started out, but couldn't find one for love nor money. And then accidentally got two. Really good capture card. Really easy to use. When I'm doing the, the PS1 footage. I bought um, a box to convert AV to HDMI. Uh, it's got 20, it's got 720p and a 1080p upscaler on it. Uh, if you can get the camera to focus, you'll see there, um, which means that I can capture footage with the Elgato on the PS1. Uh, it does a really good job with it. Uh, the camera that I use is normally on this tripod. It's a Sony A Alpha A6000. It's a really good camera. Um, you can find them pretty cheap online. I'll link one in the description. The lens, the stock lens that comes with it is really nice as well. Um, does the job well if you want kind of like a more high-end camera for your face cam to get that clarity and that quality footage that you want. Um, for, the, for it, I use a Camlink 4K, which is just down there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, my cabling's a mess. Headphones I use. Um, I use some Shure SRH 440 Studio headphones, which work really well. Um, they're a little bit worn at the top, as you can probably see, um, but they do work like a dream. Um, they never feel as uncomfortable on my head or on my ears, so I can use them for hours and, and not get ear fatigue, which is really good as well. Got a couple of LEDs installed around the side of the room, so it can give that kind of like, just a bit of a vibe. When I've got the door shut, it looks like quite nice and, nice and dark, so we'll have a look. So I've got these blackout blinds as well fitted, um, so I can record in the middle of the day without having to sacrifice kind of like the vibe and the color that I want in the room. Um, come with the cool remotes so you can change and select whatever color you want. So on here, I just put some shelves up so I can have some mementos. This was like the most legendary game on the PS2 that I believe. I just, I love this, I love this game a lot. It was really, really cool. Well, Tony Hawk's uh, remaster's coming out um, soon, which I'm kind of really excited about. And um, yeah, these are just all old games that I used to play. Um, some pedals there, some musician. And yeah, that's guys, that's pretty much it. I've got a, a rubbish little chair, but it does the job well. Um, the next investment is likely going to be a gaming chair, because uh, this one's given me back issues already. And I've only been doing this for about three months. But guys, thanks for watching. Any questions you've got, put them in the comments. Like I said, I'll link everything in the description to what everything that I've got. Please leave a like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. You think I should do more vlogs in the future. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.